So welcome back to the Peak District and today I'm out of my cadet group. We're on a silver practice DV expedition which is a two day hike, two night camp uh, through some lovely lowland and moorland terrain and I thought it might be a nice idea to give you a bit of a glimpse, a bit of an insight into the areas we go to along the way. Uh, the DV is a fantastic scheme that young people can get involved in, um, get, them, get them to go to new areas of the country, see the outdoors, experience hiking and learn some camp craft and some real life skills so it's a fantastic project to get involved in. Been a glorious day so far, plenty of sun. Uh, just to give you an idea of where we've actually walked so far, we started near to the Longshore Estate, uh, came down into uh, the Haywood, um, then into Grindleford, lovely little village, and then we've headed west over to Eam. Just had a bit of lunch, and now we're heading up towards Eam Moor, and I'm going to hit the the trig point, the Sir William Hill trig point. So one thing I love about the DV, it allows young people to come out and see different areas of the countryside. I was just talking to my silver group not so long ago, and only one of them's actually been to the Peak District before. You know, so for the rest of them, they're getting to see a new area, lovely scenery, enjoy the great weather, and it's a fantastic experience overall. And this is the Sir William Hill trick point at 429 metres. Ah, so that's our next spot, that's Abney Moor up there. And you can see how far we've just come down and we're just working our way back up on the other side up to Abney Moor. And as you can see I think we might get a bit of rain in a minute. And that rain's finally come, it's quite refreshing actually. Uh, just what we needed after that long hot day. We've had a long walk to be honest, we've been out so far for about 7 hours. And I think we've done maybe 16k. Still got another 3 or 4k to go so it's definitely been a long day for us today. So this is the beauty of the outdoors. Glorious sunshine most of the day, but the last hour of today's walk, it's gonna be in the rain, so the waterproofs are on now. Good morning, and welcome to day two of our Silver DV expedition. Uh, with all the rain yesterday, we got caught out for quite a bit, so I didn't actually get to finish my video on time. It was a long day, uh, we were out for nine hours yesterday and I walked about 22 kilometers so for me I think that's the longest I've walked before on a silver DV expedition uh, but yeah we had quite a bit of rain last night and by the time we got back to camp we were wet we were cold by the time I'd had dinner it was getting dark um, the field we've stayed at got quite wet and muddy too so we ended up pushing out vehicles from other people's groups that got stuck in the mud but anyway after that we're ready for day two Fantastic view we've got around here. We've got Loose Hill, Holland's Cross, in the background Mam Tor, Lord's Seat, and 
then heading over towards the Edale Moor on the right hand side in Grinslow Knoll. It was only about three years ago I actually started coming up to the Peak District uh, and I must have been up here now 30 or so times over the last few years uh, and each time I love coming up because I go to different areas and each time you can kind of paint a different picture of all the different hills around here. by the time we get to Edale. As you can see the wind's just picking up, the rain's creeping in so we want to get back before that rain hits us. Uh, but our cadets have certainly enjoyed it. It's certainly been a challenge for quite a few but above all it's about the teamwork, embracing the outdoors, working well together, uh, you know, giving them that chance to boost their confidence and see some new places. So, so I think it's been a great success.